Uh, my presentation will be about uh, breast reconstruction in young women, the timing and the t different techniques and also the consequences uh, that is uh, the outcome of breast reconstructions. And I look a little bit into what we have been doing in the Karolinska Institute uh, as studies and also the more international uh, studies as well. Well, the timing is pretty easy because you can do it in two different times. You can do an immediate breast reconstruction and that is uh, being more and more popular because there are several studies showing that uh, that is good for the patients. Or you can do a delayed secondary breast reconstruction, which can be done later uh, after one year, but also after many years. It has actually, and it has become more, as you say, more increasingly uh, popular for several reasons. But we try at the Karolinska Institute to limit it to patients that really have an elevated risk for uh, contralateral cancer or having a BRCA mutation. Well, there are a lot of different techniques, of course, where the easiest one is just to put an implant. A permanent implant is the most uh, easy uh, technique, of course, and then you can have different kind of expansion techniques. And then you have all the flaps and also flaps combined with the implants. Uh, and in young women, as we will concentrate a little bit on that today, you always have to bear two things in mind when you discuss different techniques. One is that you, hopefully this woman has a long life expectancy, so it has to be durable. But also that you will have a possibility to do another reconstruction later if she gets a contralateral cancer, if she has you unilateral reconstruction and also maybe future pregnancies which also in a, for instance your mutation carriers might be uh, uh, coming in the future for the this patient The most important outcome, of course, when you do breast reconstruction, and I'm very humble for the good work that the breast surgeons are doing, is that not uh, compromise the treatment or in any way elevate the risks for recurrence or mortality. And uh, there are many studies, and we have done a big study in Stockholm with 300 patients where uh, with an immediate breast reconstruction and matched controls, uh, women having only mastectomies, and we have shown that there is no uh, significant higher risks for, uh, for the onc compromised oncological outcome in patients with immediate breast reconstruction. And I think that's the most important message for women when uh, they are put into deciding whether they want to an immediate breast reconstruction or not, not to compromise, of course, the oncological safety. So that is one thing. The other thing is what about quality of life and uh, uh, also has been shown that quality of life, if you choose a breast reconstruction, uh, is better, especially in young women with the DCIS. Uh, uh, there was a study in the British Journal of Surgery in August last year showing that. Mm -hmm.